Hello and welcome to Cool Your Damn Jets. Uh, I want to talk about FedEx today. Uh, FedEx is uh, not getting it. Actually, that could be the title of this video. FedEx doesn't get it. Um, I should first mention we have several shipping options uh, where we live. The best company, the one with, with which the least we have the least number of problems is UPS. Then it's USPS and FedEx goes to the bottom. Um, there are other companies that could ship here, but I don't have enough interaction with them to form an opinion. Uh, but FedEx, bar none, is the worst shipping company in this area. And right now what I'm doing is if I have the option when I select which company is going to ship here, and I can pick another company than FedEx, I pick the other company, and if I go to Walmart, for instance, and Walmart offers, well, we could, you could come and pick up this item or we could ship it to you. And I know that shipment is to FedEx. I say, I'm going to pick it up. I don't want to deal with FedEx. And there are a bunch of reasons uh, that uh, we're trying to minimize our interactions with FedEx. Um, first of all, the standard of service for FedEx, and I did talk, we did talk, my wife talked to uh, their customer service representatives, and the standard of service for FedEx is delivery at the door. Not delivery at the street, not delivery at the mailbox, not delivery under the mailbox, delivery at the door. That's their standard of service. If they don't meet the standard of service, there's a problem. And we've told them about that problem repeatedly because there are some drivers that decide not to come down our driveway because it's a long driveway and I guess they're afraid that they're not going to be able to turn. Um, and they leave, instead of leaving the package at our door, they leave the package at the street. First of all, the standard of service is at the door. So if the standard of service is at the door, then I expect the package to be at the door, not to be in, at the street. Independently of how big or small it is. But on top of that, there are big packages that they left at the street. I'm recovering from a lymphoma. My wife is older than, than I am by 20 years. Neither of us or in the business of picking up big packages at the street. If the standard service is at the door, then it's at the door. But when the package is on top of being at the street, is a, it's a big package, it's even worse. Then on top of that, yesterday, and it happened before, I think, but yesterday, I went to the street to get a package, to get the mail and a package, and I knew... I. FedEx said we delivered, there was nothing at the door, I figured it's probably at the street. Sometimes the driver will leave it at the street, under the mailbox, or next to the mailbox, but this time, the driver compounded the problem by leaving the package in the mailbox. And I don't know if you know this, but I know it. There are only two people, two entities allowed to use our mailbox. And that's by federal law. It's us, me, my wife, somebody we could commission. I guess the grandkids could operate the mailbox if we commission them to operate the mailbox. If they go and mess with it without our authorization, they could be in trouble, <laughs> I suppose. But no, basically, it's me and my wife. That's one entity, the, the household. The other entity is USPS. Any other person other than us or USPS cannot operate this mailbox, cannot put things in it. If you're FedEx, you are not either of those entities. You cannot put a package in the mailbox. End of story. I didn't create this law. This is a federal law. Somebody passed it a while ago. I don't remember who, but it was passed a while ago. So when FedEx puts a package in our mailbox... They are committing a crime. Next time, this time I don't think I'm going, I'm going to report them. And I don't think I'm going to call the CSR. But 
next time I'm going to take pictures and I'm going to report them to the federal government. I can, and then they can dance as much as they fucking want. Whatever comes their way is their fault. Because we have complained about this again and again and again. And I thought the last time we complained, my wife got through to them, but apparently she didn't. And they're still putting stuff at the street or in our mailbox or whatever. You know, there's one time, there's a, there's a, I, and I think it was a, a lady driver. I don't have anything against lady driver in general, but we got communication from the company and they were saying she. So it was a lady driver. I don't know what got into her head. She said she couldn't come to the house, that it was blocked. We had a storm not long before that day. We had a storm, but we knew our driving was plowed. We could get in or out. We did get in or out that day. The lady in question from FedEx decided that she was not coming down our driveway, which is 600 feet long. It's a long driveway. And you need to have skill. Just going down the driveway is okay. But then when you need to turn around, I get that there's not, you know, it, it's not, we don't have a, a, a mall parking lot. It's fairly, it's fairly small. It is tight, but it is doable. The UPS drivers do it all the time. And FedEx drivers generally, when it's, you know, they do come to the door sometimes. Sometimes they leave, in them, they leave the stuff on the street, sometimes they come to the door. And when they come to the door, they are able to turn. Some of them turn mor moronically, I would have to say, that, you know, they end up on the grass, which is stupid. If you do your turn correctly, you're going to be able to turn. But you need to be all there, you know. Check your mirrors carefully. If it doesn't work the first time, go back forward and retry it closer to the side you need to be to make your turn. I guarantee you, if you just have a regular FedEx truck or a UPS truck, you're going to be able to make the turn in our driveway. I guarantee that. If you have a bigger truck, that's another story. But some bigger trucks have come here and, and, they, and they've done it. And sometimes there, there are situations where you need to, get at the street and, and back all the way into our driveway. Uh, and then when, you, when you're finished here, you go forward so you don't have to turn. And that requires skill also on the part of the driver. But, you know, FedEx, I guess, hires unskilled drivers. And then they look at our driveway and they're scared for no reason. Well, sometimes the neighbors can give them reasons to be scared because I, I mean, there have been times where I, I don't know why, but they went, they, they went, we, we share a driveway with the neighbors. So they went to the neighbors instead of coming here and coming back out. They didn't turn around over there. They just went in reverse coming out. So I guess it can happen if they need to go to the neighbors that the neighbors have set up their cars in such a way that you cannot turn with the truck. I don't know. But here we do not do that. We don't do that at all. We know it's hard. And we park our cars. And right now there's just one car because I told all the other car. We, parked our, we park our cars in such a way that you can turn around if you're paying attention and you're not an idiot behind the wheel without getting on the grass, without causing any problems, without running into our cars. You can do it. If you're a novice, then maybe you can't. <laughs> Take more classes. Learn how to drive a truck. I know it's difficult. I don't drive a truck. But it's possible to take classes and get tricks to know how to turn your truck around without getting on the grass with enough margin to not hit anything. And it is possible to do it here if you have a UPS truck or a FedEx truck. So they can come down the driveway, but they decide not to come down the driveway. And now I'm I'm fed up with FedEx. 
you know, we've talked to them, we've complained multiple times, and the last time my wife took the lead on complaining, I said, you should complain because they left the bugs there, and uh, and at first we're saying, well, nothing will happen. People listen to us, and they seemed to understand the problem and to say it wouldn't happen again. Well, yesterday it did happen again. And not only did they leave it on the street, but they, le- they left it in the mailbox, which is a crime. So right now, we're avoiding FedEx. The behavior of their drivers not coming to the door and the, their standard of service is to the door, not to the street. Right now, every week with Walmart, they say, we could ship this thing and that thing. And I say, no, I'm going to go pick it up with the rest of the grocery order because I want to avoid FedEx. So FedEx is losing business because of their drivers. And there are, there are places that I don't buy from because they only ship through FedEx. Again, they're losing business because of their drivers. And there are places where you have the choice between FedEx or another company and I pick the other company, usually it's UPS or USPS, whatever. And, and FedEx is again losing business because of their, the drivers not behaving properly. And truly, I do not understand it because nowadays, if you go, if you get the delivery through, from Amazon and Amazon, Amazon can ship to our, to our um, house through DoorDash. So if you get the delivery through DoorDash, they're going to take a picture of the delivery. Why doesn't FedEx do that? I think think it would cut down a lot on the packages left at the street and on the packages left in the mailbox because now essentially the driver would have to it would the driver would document their nonsensical action i left the i left the package in the mailbox look i left the package it's in the mailbox you committed a crime i left the package it's at the street that's not our standard of service I'm thinking right now FedEx needs to institute a, a, a rule like that. Like you take a picture of the package as you as you're leaving. End of story. And it would cut down on on that nonsense. To me, I, I I'm right now I'm convincing myself as I'm talking to you that that this is the only way forward. If FedEx is serious about that, and actually other companies should do the same thing, but. If FedEx is serious about that, and if they're serious, that's what they would do. But right now, they're not serious. And they, when you talk to them, they say, yes, 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 and then the driver does whatever he wants. And at the tolerance we're looking at, I, I'm pretty sure they could tell whether the driver came here and stopped at the street or came to the door. Why do we have to complain all the time about drivers staying at the street? The 600 feet of difference... I think I think they could they could tell. And if you don't want to have the driver stop and take a picture, put the f- damn camera on the truck. Put a camera on the truck. It's gonna it's gonna and it's gonna catch the the driver doing whatever he's doing. And so if he doesn't come down the driveway, you're gonna know. Either they're going to sanction the driver because the standard of service is at the door, or once they have all that stuff installed, they're gonna sing. And then we're going to know for sure that FedEx doesn't care about their standard of service. They tell you something, but we don't care where the package ends up. And I try not to do business with them as much as possible. Sometimes we don't have much of a choice because some companies have to go with FedEx. But we, if we can avoid either the company that deals only with FedEx or if we can avoid a shipment to FedEx, that's what we do. Because FedEx has has provided terrible service here too often. So with this, uh, I will I will go rant about something else and uh, leave you. Goodbye.